The death of Angelo Bronte in the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 has many consequences to the story of the game. But in this video, I wanted to look into a what if scenario, that being what if Dutch didn't kill Bronte? After Dutch received bad information from Bronte regarding a ferry station holding a large amount of cash, Dutch was emboldened to kill Bronte. But what if Dutch decided not to? In this scenario, Dutch would have taken this as a sign to leave Lemoyne as soon as possible and to flee to Tahiti. After Dutch killed Bronte, Pinkertons and the local police who are in the pocket of Bronte's crime syndicate were on high alert of the Vendelin gang. But if Dutch didn't kill Bronte, that would mean that their plan to rob the Santa Anita bank wouldn't have ended so badly. Starters, the distraction that Abigail and Hosea set up would have worked. And after the gang robbed the bank, they could have slipped out of Santa Anita easily with the cash and gold without alerting the authorities. At this point, the gang members have packed their camp and Sadie Adler would have wanted to stay in America since she wasn't really wanted by the Pinkertons, and she'd end up taking her revenge on O'Driscoll's later on for killing her husband, and she'd end up becoming a bounty hunter, like in the epilogue. Of course, Hosea and Lenny wouldn't have been killed during the bank heist, but Hosea would eventually die from the, the unknown illness that he has. Arthur would also still die, but of tuberculosis, because he contracted it in Chapter 2 of the game. Michael wouldn't snitch on the gang, to the Pinkertons because he didn't become a rat until Chapter 5 of the game, where the Santini bank heist took place in Chapter 4. John, Jack, and Abigail would stay with the gang along with all the girls. Charles would end up staying in America and possibly helping the Wapiti Indian tribe. I would say this would be a happy ending of the game. They're out of the country, they'd probably buy some property in Tahiti, Charles potentially helping the Wapiti Indians avoid any conflict with the United States government. Sadie gets her closure, and Arthur and Hosea get to die of natural causes, and John doesn't get gunned down by the Pinkertons in 1911. I will say, because of Micah, he could potentially push Dutch into inciting more chaos, but I would say, as long as Hosea and Arthur are alive, they would prevent that from happening, possibly even killing Micah. I can't say this would happen for sure, obviously I'm not a writer for Rockstar Games, but Dutch killing Bronte was a big impact on the story, and if he didn't kill Bronte, this could easily have happened. But these are just my assumptions because of the events of the fairy heist and what led up to them, and where the characters were in their arc during that time of the story in the game, but I think we can all agree that Angelo Bronte staying alive would have a huge impact on the game's story. If you guys did go on enjoy this video, like and a comment will be appreciated. Let me know what you guys would think would happen if Dutch has never killed Bronte in the first place. And so subscribe if you're new to the channel. I upload videos like this, along with Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online type videos. But yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.